It's like once I start recording these parts, I just can't stop doing it. It's like potato chips. Also, I got lucky. I swear, we're going to get into one of these intermiss intermissions with Alex, and I'm not going to be able to find the next chapter for like ten parts. But I digress. Let's let's continue on with the cutscene. I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get... Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So, you can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. That was informative. Oh well. Let's uh let's check this. This appears to be the to be a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. It is entitled The Forbidden City. Use the item to read the chapter now. Oh yes. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly. And maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. I see. I feel bad for Roberto here. The foundation of the monument has been constructed and has suffered some damage. The rest of the complex is unknown, and Roberto must discover if the construction can continue. Well, we have to survey. Might as well do it so we can get out of this hellhole. Literally. What are the chances I'm gonna run into Screaming Hallway soon, if not sooner? I'm guessing probably once I climb down that ladder. Hey buddy, let's let's talk. Let's let's go for chats. I talk to me. Frantic worker, huh? Oh, well, well, screw you. I want to leave just as badly as you do. This guy runs slow, by the way. I don't know. Oh, no screaming hallway? Not yet? Cool. Uh... I have a torch. Might as well equip that. I hear a zombie. Oh god, it's a zombie. Ugh. I was wondering about that. You know, I was like, hey, it sounds like a zombie. Hey, a zombie! One of Averdo's fellow slaves, less dead, his wounds seem to have attracted the attention of the beast. For they have been not open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. No sword or anything? You suck, man! Fellow slave at my butt. 
Okay, you. Yes. Interesting. Well, that that's one thing down. Um, was I supposed to do that in the previous hallway? I don't know. But uh, we have a glowing sword-like thing, and it'll safe. Is that even as it? I don't know. I'm picking it up. It's a blade. I gotta use it to like, protect myself. Now I look like I kind of look like Maximilian, you know. Roberto here, he's another chubby guy, you know. I mean, Maximilian was like kind of, he was kind of plumpish, but but Roberto, I don't understand how he's so large. That 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 blows my mind. Let's examine. Oh God, I don't know, man. Do I have a choice? Not really. So let's let's do it. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? Die! Die! Furnish you! Ah, uh, that was alright. You know, it wasn't Femi. I can respect that. Ah, yes. Now I got two of yous. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. If you're headless, that's good for me. Ow! No! Do not sm smack me around! Do not smack me around! I'm Roberto! I'm an artist! Furnish you! I'm an artist! Furnish you! Uh, I'm gonna have mixed feelings about this chapter, I can already tell. Alright, we can continue. This is good for everyone involved, except for me. This is not good for me. On the contrary. I was never the... I don't know. This just seems like... This just kind of, This chapter just has meh all written, written all over it, you know? I don't know. I'm not invested into the character enough to really get a sense of wanting him to survive. Alright. Ooh, crossbow bolts! So we get the crossbow. Can I talk to you, man? Hey, hey. Fine. Don't talk to me. I don't need you. But I do need this crossbow. Crossbow is awesome. And, uh, I can talk to you. The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen and that rob... Berta will be next. Fascinating. Can I survey this area? Yes. Good. I have a feeling I'm going to need to backtrack to that one room. I don't know. Let's continue onward, shall we? Oh, God, no! No! Freaking hell! Just shut up! You and you, shut up! Shut up! Take it! Yes! Oh my god, just shut up! Wow. That's a lot to take in. Climb down. Talk. Okay. Oh, I... I... Okay, um... With you... That takes care of you. Now to take care of you. And I need to reload. And to take care of you. And in case there's another trapper, you know. Let's see here. Not another one. Okay, good, good. 
Maybe now that I kind of saved that worker's life, maybe he'll be like, Hey, thank you for saving me. Here, have this ridiculous item. Nope. You're just going to stand there like... Like a lump. You know what? You're lost. I don't care. On the other hand, I, I probably want, you know... Yeah! Enchanted items. Beautiful. Beautiful. While I'm at it, let's get a shield going. I just realized, Roberto has a very low magic meter. I, 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 I see there's some variations between the meters and the different characters. But, enough of that. I'm gonna end it off here. Later, guys.